Sustainability in the construction industry. Our guest for today is leading a company that aims to promote eco-friendly construction through innovative materials and products. Ria Canlas is the woman behind Poli Technology Incorporated. The woman of today was a mere dream for a woman of yesterday. History has shown how difficult it is for a woman to cement her space in the realm of science. But today, we take the lead. We set the standards. We are in the front lines. We are women. We work to create a world where a woman can choose science as her journey, where technology is her uninterrupted road, and progress is her destination. We work to create a world where a woman in science is the norm, not the exception. A world where she is a constant educator, innovator, mentor, and leader. A world that is, and will continue to be, an inclusive and diverse global scientific community. I am Dr. Maria Lisa Camillas. I am an engineer scientist, and I am a woman in science. Hello everyone, I am Anne Gabriel Longhoco and I will be with you for tonight as your co-host. I describe myself as the Mediocre Writer from National University, Manila. It is another night for us to learn and engage ourselves with how wonderful knowledge and wisdom can be when applied. The objective of this channel is to promote the feminine genius advocacy. One of the many goals is women empowerment and gender equality through education and livelihood. One way to educate is by inviting guests of any gender who will impart their personal journey, challenges, and breakthroughs that will give invaluable learnings to viewers. By becoming a guest, he or she is tagged as the friend of the feminine genius. Tonight, we will have another co-host, Ms. Ella Wans, who is an IT specialist, research coordinator, an educator, a vlogger, a practitioner, and she's, she also promote the Team Helpful to help newbie YouTubers. Ms. Ella Wans is also an industry practitioner, researcher, and soon to be a doctor of information technology and financial advisor. And now let's welcome our host for tonight, Dr. Ria Liza C. Canlas, who is a civil engineer, materials engineer, and patent agent. Dr. Ria also promotes the feminine genius as a female making impact in male-dominated industries such as construction, manufacturing, and creatives. She was also featured in several media outfits as an ASEAN designer and a woman in science. Dr. Ria is an industry practitioner, educator, researcher, innovator, inventor, technologist, scientist, entrepreneur, Patent Professional and Science Communicator. Together, let's welcome Dr. Ria Liza and Ms. Allowance. Hello everyone, good evening and welcome to my channel, Dr. Ria Liza. And of course, I am always at your service. This channel is meant to promote the attributes of a feminine genius. And these are also our membership packages. And the attributes of a feminine genius are humility, kindness, patience, good character, industry, virtue, piety, and devotion. And as a feminine genius, we spread lessons by featuring the people or the lives of other people, their personal journeys, their challenges, and their breakthroughs. Because we believe that listening to other people's stories is called humility and sharing is called generosity we are somehow influenced by the lives of other people that we can apply in our own selves remember life is short so let us live our lives to the fullest and let us be inspired by a very special guest later 
we are live via Facebook page, the Feminine Genius, and the via Facebook groups, the Feminine Genius Group Philippines. And for the Feminine Genius Brand Development and Direction, I'd like to thank Agus Maharlika, Bon Labora, and we're just waiting for, of course, Bon to give us a go signal when we will be coming up with the physical launching of our book with the title, The Feminine Genius Meets, published by Agimat Publishing of Bon Labora. And of course, my co-author in that book is no other than our co-host, uh, Anna, the mediocre writer. And uh, all our guests are featured in one chapter of this book. So please try to um, to wait for, for that launching of our book. No? Um, good evening again, everyone. I think uh, Ella once would be a bit late. We will be seeing Ella once in a short while. For the meantime, uh, Magsosolo flight mo na si Dr. Rieliza. So please do not forget to become a member of the Feminine Genius. All you have to do is to click the button below the screen. Click join and be a member of the Feminine Genius and be part of our advocacies. In the coming future, we'll be coming up with more of uh, um, programs for the Feminine Genius. And of course, part of that is spreading lessons of life's journey, especially people in the science and technology through our broadcasting or through our live streaming every Saturday at 9 p.m. So for those who wanted to join and be part of the Feminine Genius, join na po tayo dito. Click lang po natin yung join button. And of course, um, all your comments every Saturday is one entry to our raffle that is happening on our grand ls and as usual our grand ls is always at the end of the year yeah yung last saturday of the year except if it's a this if it's um new year you know? um but of course this year we held our grand ls on the first ever day of the of first saturday of the year uh, abangan natin yung ating grand ls will be coming up with very exciting prices and all your comments your comments every Saturday are being checked. Manilalag po ni Ella Wan siyang inyong mga attendance. All your comments. So every Saturday, every time you comment, you have your entry. So the more entry, the more chances of winning. And we're preparing special prizes for our Grand LS. That could have been our fourth. Yeah, our fourth Grand LS. And of course, as usual, at the end of the discussion with our guests, we'll be having our Pinoy Enyo. We'd like to check kung nakinig pa tayo doon sa diniscuss ng ating guest. It's a guessing game. And we will be asking five words. And you will, of course, guess those words. And those who will win or be successfully guess the word, yung udang makahula, will receive Gcash from the host. So we are going live every Saturday, 9 p.m. to 8 to 11 p.m. and we're shortening that and this has been or today is our episode number 118 grabe no ang tagal na pala natin we 118 ano na tayo um episode since we started live streaming and um and please do not forget to subscribe like and hit the notification bell underneath also the screen Kinakain yata ako ng background ko. Underneath the screen, please subscribe to Dr. Realiza's channel and also subscribe to Ella One's channel. Feel free to discuss or to ask any questions later when we feature our guests. Alright, so uh, konting ano lang tayo, no? konting uh, shout out lang tayo. Hello to our early bird, Erlita Cadillo. Good evening sa iyo. And of course, um, hello to Ma'am Kat, to Trophy and Tiffany. And of course, uh, hello to our guest, uh, Joel Samaniego, who's a mentee of our guest, um, of our guest, uh, Inventor Jun Katan. Nice to know that po. And I hope that, I know that the, the employees of Mapicon are also listening to us because um, this is a very um, special episode and we want to feature a legacy, a Filipino legacy. Talagang ano, uh, special kasi this is supposed to be our 
Valentine's Day episode. Kaya syempre, special ang ating guest for today. Alright, so I think the time has come for us to introduce our guest for tonight. Welcome to today's episode, The Feminine Genius Meets the Mapicon Founder. This is Late Night with Dr. Ria Liza featuring up close and personal with inventor Gonzalo O. Catan Jr., the Mapicon founder, with the theme, How to Thrive 60 Years in Business. Inventor June is not just an inventor. He is also an entomologist, scientist, and entrepreneur in the fields of pest control, environmental sanitation, and conventional energy green charcoal, and activated carbon manufacturing. An 86 years old who lived his life to the fullest. Mapapasana all ka na lang, no? Uh, sana tayo ganun din. By being a founder of Mapicon Philippines Inc., he founded with only 400 pesos as initial capital and now has grown to 44 branches nationwide and with more than 700 employees. Some of his remarkable achievements include 38 patents. Imagine 38, baka nga makaisa lang tayo in our entire life is already a blessing. But this guy has 38 patents in pest control, alternative energy, and activated carbon. And most of them are published patents. And nine more pending patents. So all in all, that's 38 plus 9. My God, that's 47 patents. He, I think patents are nagpapabata ka, sir. He has countless awards, but to name a few, in 1995, he was the most outstanding inventor and presidential awardee during the 5th National Science Technology Fair sponsored by DOST and the Office of the President. He was also the Outstanding Filipino Awardee or the most popular award called TOEFL 95, awarded by the Philippine JC Senate, and a bronze medalist at the 24 International Exhibit Exhibition of Inventions, New Techniques and Products in Geneva, Switzerland, under the Energy Protection of Environment Anti-Pollution category. He is the foundation behind the creation of the Filipino Invent Inventors Federation, commonly known as Philippine He plays a key role in uniting several inventors group in the country. A jolly person who introduced Oshalan through sharing jokes and also know his products, and this is quite very interesting, about hydrogen reactors and green fuel and more. An opportune time to be inspired with a rare life journey that every Filipino could ever dream of. Know the wisdom and benefits of being an inventor, entrepreneur. Before we ask um, our guests to join us, let us play first the video of Mapicon. Pro quality services na magbibigay protection sa iyong property investment laban sa mapanirang daga, ipis, anay at lamok? Mapicon Pest Control, the best and pioneer pest control in the country at certified ng ISO. Gamit ang mas safe and effective solutions laban sa termites na sumisira ng haligi, cabinet, pinto at kisame. Available only from the nation's largest and leader in pest control. Contact now for a feel free survey and estimate. All right, so for now, let us uh, welcome again our, on stage our very special guest. Ito yung totoong Lodi, idol. Sana all, di ba, Ella? <laughs> so let us welcome Sir June Gonzalo Catan Jr., the Mapicon founder. Hello, sir. Good uh, evening po sa inyo, sir. 
Good evening po, Sir Gonzalo Catan. Nice meeting you po. Just call me June Catan. For sure. All right. All right. Sir June, June ayan. Good evening June, po. Yes. Good evening, sir. So, um, sir, we are, of course, so honored to have you on our program. Uh, narinig naman ng mga audience, grabe yung, um, uh, grabe so yung okay. ano nyo, yung, 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 yung program. Thank you so much, sir. So, sir, uh, that will give you the time po to introduce at makilala po kayo ng ating viewers. Uh, tell us about yourself, sir. Take your time po. Yes, uh, I am Inventor Jun Katan, the Executive Vice President of MAPECON Philippines. Our President is Jesus Christ, and that is duly registered with the SEC. And uh, we also own a company, a wholly owned subsidiary called the MAPECON Green Jackal Philippines Incorporated. This is where we do our research. It's a 3.4 hectare located in Alaminos, Laguna. There are many stories about this, but uh, it is enough to say at the moment that it is uh, uh, the beginning of uh, my having to be interested in uh, invention, though uh, there are still more why I went to uh, the development or going to invention. I know that the uh, Battel Institute of Germany said three-fourths three -fourth of the world of uh, a nation, any nation of the world comes from innovation and invention. So, Practically everything that you see or touch has to do with invention, like the cell phone. You open touch, you open use every, probably every hour. And about your car, that's a lot of invention. The, the airplane, all of those are invention. So that is why I know that the uh, way to be remembered is to go into invention. Now, what motivated me? Well, uh, when I was still uh, in my uh, barrio, Barrio Pilipinon, I engaged in gardening. I uh, was uh, a member of the Palenpinon for its club. And then fortunately, my project won. I was the national gardening champion in 1970. So uh, my price was 400 pesos, but that was just enough, 200 pesos per semester at that time. And I was already an associate in agriculture at Suleiman. So what I need is only two years. So with that 400 pesos, 200 tuition per year, I was able to finish um, my best Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. And I uh, am happy that because of that, uh, it leads more. That was a contest of uh, members. And then later on, there was another contest called the uh, 4-H Leaders Contest or International Farm Youth Exchange. So my price was to go to the United States and to live by doing the poor its way, and that is to live with American families, except in Hawaii, also an American, but a Hawaiian American. I lived there for one month, one month each, and then one month also in Kansas. Uh, I was like a cowboy there, paid by one peso riding a horse and uh, to, to drive the cows. And then also uh, in Vermont, I live with two host families, and uh, one of them is that of uh, Nancy, where uh, she is now my where I met my wife. She was 20 then, I was 26, and so we. Uh, uh, it's like this: uh, was once 
in the barn. Uh, you know, in um, having cattle, you have to have a hay, block of hay. And uh, one time, while we were at the barn, while I was sitting down, I asked Nancy, she was sitting down, I asked her, Nancy, is it all right to kiss a girl to say that uh, thank you? And she said, yes. So I held her cheek and was about to kiss her. I did not continue. I said, no, no, uh -uh, it's wrong. In the Philippine culture, you have to have a relation first before you kiss a girl. And you know what? The next day we kiss and kiss. We have already boyfriend and girlfriend. Anyway, that is a, a story that leads her to, I see is here now, and we have no, well, children, their grandchildren, and also uh, a push of two them. So we live very happily here in the Philippines. Now, what were my inventions that- uh, uh, Sir, were, yes. Yeah. Uh -oh. Before we continue po sa mga questions, uh, clarify ko lang po yung mga iba niyong diniscuss, no? So, tama po ba yung narinig ko Jesus Christ as president and registered as sect? Uh, okay, sorry for being sidelined. But uh, <laughs> let me just, uh, that in my gardening uh, project, my problem was really insects. So, I decided to... Uh, go to uh, uh, study at College of Agriculture and uh, I majored in entomology. That is all about the study of insects. And it has paid off. In 1974, I became the most outstanding Filipino inventor. And in 1996, I was a bronze medalist during an invention contest held in Geneva, Switzerland. Again, this is about my tour, the green charcoal. The green charcoal, uh, which is now used in a very big kiln in Alaminos Laguna, and it is existing up to now. The uh, fuel before was uh, bunker fuel and diesel fuel. Now it is changed to green charcoal fuel. The green charcoal is put into a hydrogen reactor, and then once it is in contact with the steam, it becomes fire right away. And uh, the saving is tremendous because the uh, BTU of hydrogen is 59,000 BTU, while the G cell and uh, or uh, gasoline or petroleum is only 18,000 BTU. So there is really a tremendous, a big saving. And we are enjoying the savings up to now. And uh, in 1999, uh, I also won silver medalist during the International Event Contest in Geneva, Switzerland, for my bot botanical insect growth regulator. And uh, to me, the one that is really, uh, both are money makers, both the botanical insect growth regulator, that is to control insects, uh, why a regulator? Because it only regulates the uh, small part of the head at the back of the head of the insect and uh, it kills it right away and so that's why compared to competition it requires only a very little concentration so that is why we are number one in pest control because we need less and also uh, more and more uh, much safer because we are so we are now number one and pest control uh, throughout the Philippines because of this both big R and then also the MBA 54. This is Mapicon bioactivate carbon with 54 microorganisms and this is 
uh, all natural. And that is why uh, in 2007, uh, the Supreme Court ruled that only the APA, uh, that the APA, not the Food and Drug Authority, has already authority over Mapecon. Quote, all the acts and operations of Mapecon is not under APA or FDA. It is under the National Committee on Urban Pest Control. And the National Committee on Urban Pest Control is ours. I am the technical uh, chairman, the technical director of the National Committee on Urban Pest Control. So for the anybody hearing, uh, I will be happy to email to them the uh, 19 summarized documents. Why MAPICON 1 and why APA or the ADA has no jurisdiction over pest control. This is uh, born out of the fact that I do not want to import. You see, the APA filed against a criminal case against me for uh, using foreign pesticides. And I refuse. The reason why I am uh, inventing is so that we will uh, stop importation. But they are forcing me to import. So I uh, instead filed, uh, I defended myself and I won in the court. So the, up to now, all the other uh, uh, pest control products or other pest controllers are uh, illegal. If they are, then they are flight by night operators and the customer can be uh, also sued uh, for not following the law. So this is the advantage of being an inventor. And I mentioned this because I just want to mention to answer the question, what are the challenges being faced by, by me and by my inventors? And uh, well, the inventors as a whole, well, my friend, except for very few, are, are poor. That is the, because uh, it is a fact that out of 100 inventions, only four succeed. That's why I thank God that I am one of the four that succeed. And uh, the uh, okay, question number nine, what are those on science? Can you identify any you are best to work on? Now, uh, the one I mentioned to continue working on the uh, botanical insect director for insect pests, and then to uh, continue and to work on uh, Mapicon bio botanic bioactivate carbon with 54 microorganisms. This is uh, very important. And if you combine two, you control the pests at the same time, fertilizer with one operation because both are liquid, you can mix. And then what is my advice to younger generation? The advice is, especially I have also uh, a grandchild, Brian, who is now an inventor. He is also successful. He used, uh, uh, he called it reticulation, rat reticulation. And he is now earning money because of that. That is also my advice to the younger generation in order that our country will more become progressive, in order that our country will not have to import anymore uh, many things. We need to be self reliant. And then, how about the women? How, what is my advice for the younger women? Uh, Yeah, well, the beautiful part of invention, it does not uh, uh, recognize whether you are a female or male. We have also many women inventors. Uh, we have women inventors association. 
that is the beauty of invention. It is both for women and for the young people. Again, I'd like to thank the one who is uh, uh, leading the program for giving me opportunity to uh, share to the public about uh, inventors and their inventions. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Sir June Katan. It was a very uh, wonderful sharing of your, uh, siguro ano lang to, mga only 10% of who you are, no? And by the way, for the knowledge of our viewers, Sir June is already 86 years old. Tama po ba, sir? You're already 86 years old po, di ba? Yes. October yes. 28. Yes. October. Paraw kami ni Sir na October. So, um, alam niyo, sir, yung, I mean, the, the likes of you, yan ang talagang mga kailangan ng mga, ng mga younger generations as a living proof, no? As a living proof that invention really is what will make our life very fulfilling for the knowledge of many. And also, I'm reiterating no, that Sir June own 40 uh, patents. Tama po, sir. Um... <laughs> uh, Actually, uh, wow. 38 patents with, with nine patents pending. Mm. 38 patents uh, uh, with nine patents pending. In short, I have applied still nine more. So Wow. <laughs> sir, so kung makakapag-apply ka pa, magiging ilan na lahat, sir? 38 plus nine, tama ba? It will be 38 plus nine. Yeah, yes. that, but you know, so that we are be not 47. 47 na. Ako, ma lang ako <laughs> Sir, for the record, uh, sino ang mas pa kaysa sayo? Marami rin, uh, only hindi lang ganun kadami, but mga tatlo, mm -hmm. apart from, that is enough. So long as it can uh, support your livelihood, that is all right, because I told you earlier that out of 100 inventions, four only become successful in the marketplace. So it's really hard to be an inventor. But, you know, you have to go on. Besides, uh, your mind cannot stop thinking. You go on thinking. Uh, you always have to think and focus on what can I help? What invention can I help to do to help our countrymen and to the <clears throat> We have us always to think what ambition I have in mind in order that we minimize our importation because we cannot progress if all the things that we use are imported. Yes. Sir, um, at what age have you started your first invention? Naalala mo ba? Uh, ilang taon ka nung first invention mo? Ah... Uh, that is when I, well, I just arrived from the States. I know that uh, if uh, mm -hmm. I will work as a teacher, which many of us do, I will never earn money to uh, let Nancy come. So I decided to go into business. And... Uh, Fortunately, I was only doing research of what can control the insect because of my project uh, when I was a for HR. And I already found out what I can. Only I need to develop for more, develop some more. So after uh, I arrived from the States, I, about uh, 1972, and by the way, that uh, invention made me known throughout the country. And it because of that, when I ran for the CONCON, I easily won. I won. I became number one out of 21 candidates. Uh, I, I was an independent. That means the KBL were funded. Uh, nobody funded it myself as well as the 19. And it is because of my invention. The invention made me known to all the country. And that uh, they, 
the Mapicon because of Mapicon, it is also my invention that made it known throughout the country. That's why it made me win uh, the Congon. So I was a, a delegate of Negros Oriental of the first district, which includes the Magiti City. So, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So, sir, um, you're you're very young. You're not funded, and this is a moral lesson to everyone who's listening to us right now. Para po sa iba sa kaalaman ng iba, hindi po na kailangan po natin maging self-sufficient. No, hindi uh, may mga paraan para ma-push natin ang ating mga invention, even without funding. Because uh, I know that um, Sir Katan, Sir June started his mapicon company for only 400 pesos capital and the company is now running 60 years old so in other words if sir katan is 86 minus 60 talagang 26 so nag-asawa din siya 26 at that time he already started the company sir um can, can you share us uh if itong ma the short you map the journey and how you're able to reach 60 years and how does it feels to own a 60 years old company well i just want to tell you that i am a good catholic I, I just thank god that he has helped me i did it god for this he has helped me in this he has uh without by praying for him, and I would like to tell you that uh, gifts from God just follow one after the other. At present time, you know, I did not have the fund to build a, a 12 story building. Now I have only four. But then suddenly, like an angel, one inventor, Bel Sangutan of uh, the president of the Double Inventors Association came and said, June, uh, what is happening now with your building? Did you build already? But not yet. Now I'll tell you how. You just uh, build this up and then uh, we will uh, have it an independent uh, appraiser, a Delpo appraiser. And then once that is done, we will uh, build it. We'll help build the sale of the five story of the 12 story building will be enough to uh, build the whole uh, 12 story there will be all in all in that 12 story 40 units and each unit will cost uh 14,000 plus five percent 14,700 that will be about 30 million and then the whole units which is all in all 40 that will be about 40 million so you have built already a 12 story building plus you still have 10,000 plus you can still have a place for rental for cars and so on so again this to me uh, he himself said that is my angel the inventors as an angel uh, and are one of those who are very successful inventors very successful I'd like also to mention uh, uh, Arch Pelly inventor Archie uh, Milano is also a successful inventor. Lives on ambition. Also Mario Banglasan. Many of us are happy, but uh, you know, it is not only the uh, degree of wealth that you have. It is how you are able to help your country uh, that you will say whether you are successful or not. You can tell that yourself, your family, that you are helping also your family provide you know, work. And uh, here at Papecon, we are providing employment because when you employ somebody, you help not only the person, but also his relatives and also provide clothing and shelter and also tuition for their children. So our vision in the Mapicon is to employ me people. That's why we have 700 workers now, and we are going to add more. Right now, we are need two, uh, uh, we call it uh, uh, 
a college graduate uh, but uh, single free accommodation 18,000 a month uh, parang nurse aide siya nurse aide but not a nurse nurse aide siya then we also need well my own uh, well personal care I need also 500 pesos uh, a day so all these things we need and then we need more as ours as also uh, students even working students so that is the advantage of having an invention we have now uh yeah 44 branches and 700 workers yes sir grabe no 44 branches nationwide and 700 workers and uh by the way sir see inventor june sangutan uh me and ella once met him when we went to davao last december so namit na po namin si sir uh june and um i and he will be our one of our guests this february okay so um yeah sir it um also of course um nice to hear about your plans on your 12-story building and I'll be the one, also be one of those who will be helping you out in uh -huh. that project of yours. Nag-uusap kami ni Sir Archie uh, yesterday, yeah. nag-chat kami, and hope we yes. can um, discuss uh, better plans with you on your 12-story uh, Mapicon uh, iconic uh, <laughs> building. <ano? laughs> Grabe, nakaka-inspire ka, Sir. So, Ella, do you have a question for Sir? Uh, yes, ma'am. Of course, um, I'm excited. I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited not to ask this question, sir. Kasi ang dami niyang mga achievements na bala. So, sir, sa dami ng achievements niyo po, no, may we know what is your best investment? Uh, I still consider the botanical insect growth regulator. Uh, Combine yan with the multiple bioactivity carbon are the best. Parang, yeah, useless without the other. They are the, they are the money makers now. And mm -hmm. because when you plant with the rice or corn, you need fertilizer. But uh, why import? The, uh, we have cheaper, uh, and cheaper and more effective. We did a good testing in one piecing. Five hectares, it was measured, lahat. That it was measured, and it was really shown that using MBAP for the production is double, two, twice as much as when we uh, are not using uh, MBAP for together with the big R botanical insect growth regulator. Uh, both are always good combination. Parang as one and one, useless without the other. Thank you, sir. Ayan. So, Ma'am Ria, do you have a follow-up question for sir? Well, I just want to mention to you, anytime you uh, go to the province, just ask where Mapecon is and mention my name, they will take care of you. With transportation. Oh, Ma'am Ria. <laughs> sure, sir. Ayan. We will visit that. <laughs> uh, Go ahead, Ma'am Ria. What is your home town or home place? Can, uh, can, yeah. you, still, can you now hear me? Yes, ma'am. From where are you? What is your province or hometown? Okay. Me, sir. Uh, Ella wants my hometown is actually I'm from Zamboanga. Bulacan. Zamboanga, sir. Ma'am Ria uh, is in Bulacan. Ma'am is there also. We have also a manager there. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> this coming July, no, Pohon, that's the, the uh, term, no? Yes, we will, you. hopefully we can, <laughs> uh, we can go back to our hometown and we'll see if there is Mapicon there, sir. Do not hesitate to uh, visit me, visit us at Mapicon uh, anytime. Okay, you uh, are free. Wow. Mabria, so I think uh, Nag-freeze ng kaunti si Ma'am Ria, no, right now. Nag-joke ang internet niya. Pero, uh, sir, uh, 
Napaka-exciting ng mga sinabi mo kanina no, sa Mapicon. And uh, we salute you dito sa mga achievements niyo po. Napaka-gandang tularan niyo po no, sa mga young generation ngayon po na uh, hopefully magiging incoming inventors din po sila like you na naging successful po talaga. Uh-huh. And uh, sir, bukod dun sa sinabi niyo kanina na uh, kung paano kayo naging matagumpay, kasi talagang nagpray kayo. Ano pa po ang ibang sekreto talaga, sir, na, na ginawa ninyo po para maging mas successful itong pagbibuild ninyo ng sarili ninyong company? Para, well, to be yeah, still successful, you really have to be nationalistic. You really have to uh, think of your country that you are doing this not only for yourself, but yeah. for your country. That Yon. is the most important. Well, Thank you, I, sir. This is opportunity. Any one of our audience who knows somebody or see me or uh, see the nurse aid uh, single, free accommodation, and uh-huh. we ha- are a, a place for them here at Manila. It will be here at Manila. Marpicon, uh corporate building. So, I hope somebody hear about that because uh, nationwide, we need somebody who is single and um, college graduate any degree and that we give them pay accommodation starting 18,000 a month and then oh. 20 and succeeding depending on performance. Okay, I hope uh, somebody will be able to hear that and we will be happy to employ them immediately. All right? All right, sir. So I think Elowance is qualified for that. <laughs> Maria, back to you. Yes. Yes, you can now hear me, Ella. Yes, ma'am. Sir, yes, ma'am. Okay, pasensya na, you know. Erratic ang ating internet. We are in the Philippines. Alright. <laughs> Yung internet. <laughs> Understandable, so, Maria. Uh, Sir June, ako. Uh, ang dami-dami mong achievement, no? In fact, baka hindi mo na mabilang kung ilan yung awards mo. Um, anything else left undone, sir? Meron pa ba kayong hindi pa nagagawa bukod sa iyong um, 12-story iconic building? Meron pa ba, sir? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that, uh, uh, well, you see, we named uh, our first daughter Ruth because of uh, the story of uh, Boaz. You know why we call him Boaz? Because Boaz, together with Ruth, he said, I will go where you will go. I will live where you will live. I will die where I will die. So that is why we name uh, our first daughter Ruth. Okay. Yeah, okay. And, Sir, ang mapikon po ba ano meaning? Ah, uh, originally Manila Pest Control. Huh? That is originally Manila Pesotol. Now it's a prayer. My Almighty's plan to exalt Christ opens now. Of course, by the power of the Holy Spirit. So my Almighty's plan to exalt Christ opens now. Mapikon. So, oh, very nice. Mapikon, Mapikon, Mapikon. Tandaan mo, Ella, yung meaning ng mapik ko na baka uh, lumabas yan sa papinoy henyo natin later. Henyo. Okay, so, um, sir, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ano lang, no, side lang kasi um, na, na, in the past uh, segments, padami tayong mga naging guests related to energy and uh, just recently our guest is a ba- woman in battery, you know. Well, she's into fuel cells. And um, namangha ako nung nakausap ko si Sir about 
the hydrogen reactors and the green charcoal, charcoal fuel. Uh, sir, can you say na kayo po yung naging, kayo po bang naging pioneering sa Pilipinas ng um, hydrogen reactors and green fuel? Uh, I don't want to myself to be called idol. <laughs> no, depends upon them. It's the people themselves who will decide, not me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So sir, um isa kayo sa naging uh, pioneer no pagdating po sa green charcoal or green fuel sa Pilipinas. Kayo po ang naging pioneer? Ah uh, yes. Uh, because uh, originating from yung the people use firewood to use charcoal. And that is a uh, harming the environment. You kill the trees, and if you kill the trees, there will be less rain, huh? cause flooding. There's a lot of problem. So now, green charcoal is made from uh, garbage, from garbage, from uh, rice straw. And green charcoal now is in the law. Uh, Article 162C, of RA 900. That is the first law signed by uh, President, former President Makapagal uh, Arroyo right after the peaceful revolution. Uh, so Green Circle is actually now in the law, Article 6112C. So I am happy that our lawmakers recognize my invention, Green Circle. It is now there in the law. I am so happy to to know that, sir. No, because I know na marami po ngayong younger generations or other inventors and technology who are now working on green charcoal. About dun sa iyong hydrogen reactor, sir. This is available po in the market, tama po ba? Yes. Manila Hotel use our uh, hydrogen reactor as our customer. And there are more. We are going to make more uh, to make it available for others. Hydrogen reactor is used for, you know, genset. So that when every big company requires a, a, a genset, uh, it costs only 30,000, but you save a lot than compared to uh, using diesel or electricity. It can be used also for barges, barges uh, to, you know, for passengers can be used also. And uh, of course, right now, it is used for factories like our Mapecon. Green Circle Philippines, that uh, reactor has been, hydrogen reactor is actually to heat water, as I said earlier. So there are many uses. So we are taking more now in order to satisfy the needs of others. So, sir, uh, I don't know, for everyone's knowledge, as uh, nagsusuplay po si sir ng, um, ng hydrogen reactors and green fuel. So if you're interested, you can go directly to MAPECON. Ayan. Mm. Ella, you still have one last question to sir? Ah, yes, well, Maria, of course. Ayan. Um, so sir, uh, sir June, I would like to ask, uh, how can you help the feminine genius advocacy of Dr. Realiza? The advocacy of Dr. Realiza. Lisa. What by the way, what is your advocacy? Uh, Dr. Ria. Uh, our advocacy po is to um, empower women. To empower women. We're in, in the coming future po we'll be having livelihood programs and training programs uh, for the women. The best way to empower women is to go to 
uh, I hope you can become a ID director or the uh, assistant director of the TAPI. That is really example of empowering women, and I will support you for that. Okay. Let them let them hold power. Uh, in short, when you are uh, a director of the TAPI, you hold power. So that is my uh, <laughs> idea, and I will help you support for that. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, Thank sir. You, sir. And I, I'm looking for. <laughs> I, I understand you're a lawyer, right? That's All right. Only. Patent agent, po. Okay. Okay, so, oh, sir, so, grabe, Ella, I think and daming na inspire ka, sir. We, we look forward to see uh, more people who would emanate from what. Uh, Sir June Katan, uh, or how June Katan live, lived or had lived or is still living his life, no? Ako nga na-inspire sa kanya, no? Kasi parang feeling ko si Sir, hindi siya getting old. He's not getting old. Simply because yeah, of his passion on technology, no? At sana ganyan din tayo palagi. <laughs> uh, na-inspire ako kasi. At saka alam mo, yung sa para lang sa lahat, no? Uh, it is a uh, Sir June Katan who were able to, who was able to uh, unite uh, about sixteen or more more than sixteen uh, inventors group nationwide. No, uh, ang sabi pa nga sa akin na may nakikwento sa akin si Sir June ay tumutulong pa pinansyali dun sa mga groups para lang alam mo ma-form nila yung groups na yan. And I am so happy to be part of that inventors group. And of course. Yes. Yung isang, yung pisahan niya yung rice, no? researchers, simple, innovators, scientists and engineers. Like, uh, you know, let them have a place for meeting, a place for, uh, you know, we eat simple food, that's why we call it barrio fiesta, just vegetable, let them have a place together, let them eat, and then have jokes, they are happy to be there. I think that is all that I did, but I am happy that they are uh, also very very thankful for what i am doing and i will continue to do so yes salamat yeah. sir grabe no so na talaga nagpo-provide ng way para mag-unite itong mga inventors group na to sir june uh, from the bottom of my heart i am so happy and grateful na nakilala ko po kayo nagpapasalamat ako at nakilala ko po kayo at si it is my honor and um Yes, and we would like to other people to hear your story so that mas marami po tayong ma-inspire at mas marami uh, mag-innovate, maging inventor para makapagtayo din sila ng kumpanya na tatagal ng 60 years gaya na yung <laughs> ating At hindi lang yun, yun right. yung sister na sa business. Nag-motivate siya ng mga inventors at nag-tut, siya, ang, siya ang fundasyon eh. Siya yung uh, nag-unite eh, no? Kaya salamat yes. po, sir, dyan sa servisyo na ginagawa nyo para sa bayan, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, We salute much you, sir. And yes. Ang dami namin learnings po this morning with you. Ah, this evening, sorry. <laughs> Ayan. Thank you. So, Ma'am Ria. Final words po for our viewers, sir, bago po, kayo, bago po tayo mag-end. Okay. Final words to our viewers, Paul. Okay. Okay, I can close now. Um, sir, ano yung huli niyo pong uh, mensahe po para sa mga viewers uh, na nanonood po okay. ngayon? Uh, my dear uh, friends, my dear countrymen, uh, I am honored to be a guest in this program. I thank uh, Ria and company for this. But 
I think uh, the uh, main reason why they let me uh, appear in this program is to inspire you uh, to help our country and to minimize our importation. We, uh, we Filipino inventors are serving hard in order that our big country becomes self-reliant. They do not need to import because if we import, we are subsidizing the workers of other people. And I really hope that you will really uh, take this seriously. And that, as I mentioned earlier, we have to produce our own things. We should not depend on importation because we will be subsidizing other workers of other countries. So I am happy of this program. And in this uh, way, I'll be able to let you help also our country. Please uh, join me in saying to it that, and one of the reasons I want you to buy Filipino products instead of always the important. I wish you can do that even in the uh, uh, present problem is not important uh, is not ambition but just the same we would rather uh, buy local onions rather than import them so that the other farmers will be encouraged to plant more uh, locally uh, these onions so you don't have to depend on importation so that is not an ambition now uh, my Dear countrymen, I would like you to uh, thank you for being able to listen to this view program, and uh, you can see, and you, as you can see, that invention is really needed for our progress. Because, as I said earlier, three four of the wealth of nations comes from invention. I hope that those who are listening will really take seriously of inventing so that they can help uh, invent and they can help the innovation and progress of our country producing wealth. Again, thank you very much. God bless. God bless. Thank you so much, sir. That was very inspiring. Uh, I, I also, by the way, Ella, no, I also would like to take this opportunity to thank sir and the rest of the inventors group for nominating me at uh, uh, being uh, one of the executive members of the national innovation council uh, we are on the third phase already sir uh, meron pa da yatang dalawang phase at least nakarating na ako sa third phase po may dalawang phase na lang in god's uh, help and in in the support of the inventors group sana po ma-achieve po natin at ma Ma maging winner po tayo, ma-select po sana ako sa, sa last stage nitong laban natin, National Innovation Council. So, thank you so much po, sir. Thank you wow. so much for all thank your you. endorsement for the life well spent. A life well spent. And you sinabi ni sir, uh, buy Filipino products. So, yes. thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you po, Sir June. God bless. Yes, Bye-bye, sir. There's more. Bye po. All right. Hello, Ella. That was a very inspiring discussion, na. Eh? Yeah. Oh, baka Back. bukas mag-start uh, na mag-invent lahat ng mga ating mga viewers. So, shout out ka muna, Ella. Yeah, sigurado yan lang. Ayan. Lagi echo lang. Teka, mag-off ako ng... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I saw already. Um, I think it was Sir Joel Sir Sir Samaniego. Ayan, sabi niya, o oh, pumasok siya nitong ano na. Salamat daw po kay Sir yung ating guest. Thank you po, Sir Joel, for tuning in. And I saw new names po dito na sa live chat no ng ating host. Good evening to all of you and sa mga loyal viewers ng ating host. Mega love shout out po sa lahat. So, I would like to uh, thanks 
Sis Chovy and Tiffany, I saw a lot of um, shoutouts there. Uh, hindi ko naman maisa-isa yan sa pagmamakrid, pero yung maabutan ko lang dito. Thank you for sending the hand, pink uh, waving and virtual hug. Sir Joel Samiego, Sis Chovy and Tiffany, shout out to all of you, Ma'am Kat. Um, we have also Sir Ronel Ramos, shout out din po kay Mami Erlinda Cadillo. And um, Pollens TV. Ayan, so um, nandiyan din po ang ating pa-angel. And si Bangtan Army, nandito rin. Uh, as well as Diane. And um, sino ba yung hindi ko nakita? Mayroon din hindi, hindi nag-a-appear dito na shoutout sa YouTube. Pero meron doon sa, nandoon siya sa StreamYard. And then meron din from Facebook user. So shoutout po to all of you. who are watching po uh, this episode no via Facebook Live. I hope so that you can also visit the channel of Dr. Yeliza via YouTube naman. So you, all you have to do is search Dr. Yeliza in the search tab of uh, YouTube and then proceed on the live chat so that you can interact and participate, especially in the Pinoy Henyo game. Ayan. So yan po inaabangan ng mga cum laude nating listeners dyan. Ayan. By the way, yung mga... Uh, panalo po nung last last week and last week, hindi pa po namin naibigay so just wait for it kasi alam niyo naman si host, sobrang busy yan <laughs> Ma- Ma'am Ria, parang nag-freeze ka lang kaunti no? so, shout out po sa ating mga minamahal po na taga Team Helpful and of course, sa ibang teams po ng ating host like Team Lipat Main Team Shine um Hindi ko na maalala yung iba, ma'am. Ang daming teams ni Ma'am Ria. So, shout out to all of you sa mga founders po ng teams. And happy hearts day na po kasi ang lapit na po ng Feb 14. It doesn't mean na married na Ma'am Ria, di ba? Eh, uso pa rin naman ang happy hearts day and chocolates and flowers. Kasi forever nga daw talaga. Naku, Ella, iba na ang flowers ngayon, ha, by the way, ha. Yes. Ang gusto ko sanang bouquet ngayon is mga sibuyas. <laughs> Hindi man, hindi mo naman. Yeah, mga sibuya sa sinyo mahal na yun. No? And then, kanina nakita ko namin, nakapost na, Ella. Ang mga hmm. bouquet ngayon okay. ay gulay. Sibuyas na lang. <laughs> oh, sibu- well, tama yun ang Ria. Yeah, para... <laughs> I really wanted to receive a bouquet of onions. <laughs> Ayan, calling Sir Philip, alam mo na. <laughs> Alam mo na ang Ayan. request ng ating host. Ayan, yeah, happy, happy Valentine's Day in advance. Yes. Thank you po. Pollens TV, ayan. Yes, natatawa sila. Baka maya bukas, may dami ng sibuyas na nagpapatala sa akin. Opo, tumatanggap po ako ng sibuyas. Okay. So, <laughs> salamat. So, ngayon, um, lupa daw ang tanim. Ano sabi? Lupa, may tanim onions po, eh. Oh, hindi, kahit nakabukay. Oo. Wow. Ready. <laughs> Para ready ko ng iluto, Pollens. Hindi <laughs> ko natatanggal sa lupa. So ngayon, we have our Pinoy Henyo. Ako ay namili ng mga words na papahulaan natin. So ready po tayo sa ating Pinoy Henyo. Alright? So. Kala ko may money bouquet, sabi ni Sir Ronel daw, ma'am. Hindi Naku, na, kasi, na kailangang yung... i-bouquet yan. <laughs> no, <laughs> Ronel, <laughs> yung money no, bouquet kasi, uso yan last time. <laughs> uso yan last year, Ronel. Oh, Ngayon hindi na, sir. Yes na ngayon. No. Okay, so, Pinoy Henyo tayo, ha? Alright? So, number one. Hindi <laughs> ma'am Ria ang magbibigay ng clue. Kasi, yeah, number one. Uh, what is this invention of uh, Sir Jun Katan that uses green fuel? Ginagamit ng mga hotels, ginagamit ng mga bars, ginagamit ng mga factories. nakapag-create siya ng better BTUs or better power kesa sa diesel. So, ano tong invention na to ni Dr. Katan, ni Sir, ni Inventor Katan? Kaya na nilang sagutin yan. Gumagamit ito ng green fuel. Gumagamit siya ng green fuel. Kapalit siya ng gen... Uh, Uh, para maka, maka ano yan, makasupport sa mga kapalit ng generators, kapalit ng mga genset, <laughs> mga generators. Sige pa, wala pa, wala pa. 
Sige pa, keep on typing. Sige, busy ako sa pag-attendance nyo. <laughs> keep on typing. <laughs> keep on guessing, guys. Yeah, gumagamit. Actually, gumagamit to ng green charcoal. Gumagamit to ng green fuel. Itong blank na to. Na invention ni Engineer Katan. Pwede ipamalit sa Ghost's Trophy. Ipapalit sa Genset. So, Ma'am Kat, Sir Ronel. So, malapit na sa isang sagot. Na two words siya. Two words. Ayun, meron na nakasagot. You know, ma'am. Ala, o kabisado ni Paulus moment, pati yung BTUs. <laughs> Tapit tinayin. Pinalo si... BTU, actually BTUs. Uh, hydrogen Wait, reactor si Paulus. Wow, Paulus. Ang galing mo naman ng hula. Congratulations, Paulus. <laughs> Nede, alam niya, pati nga BTU, alam niya. Notes talaga siya. Next. Number two. Oh, si Ronel. Simple yan. ano lang ha. Simple lang ang sasabihin kong clue dito. Ito yung clue. Age. <laughs> clue. Age, age. Age. Ano yan ma'am? Age. Yan ang Edad. <laughs> sige pa. Sige pa. Age. Age. Go. Ayun. <laughs> The correct answer is the age of our 86. So, sino ang winner? 86. Paul and Stevie, the age of our inventor, June Katan. So, ang naku, nakita ko na una dito si ano eh, si Paul and's moment. Sayang si Bangtan Army, 87. So, October, 87 na siya. <laughs> Word number three. What is the wealth of the country according to Sir June? The wealth of the country according to Sir June. Kayamanan ng bansa. The wealth of the country. Yung iba mabagal yung internet eh, kaya late dumapas yung mga sagot. Wealth of our country. Wealth of any country. Sabi ni Paul and Stevie, inventors. Eh, innovation, pa, sabi ni Soranel. Baka delete ang itong ano ko. <laughs> Nagtatype ako ng atin. Ano yung pa? Bak- may mali sa word? May mali lang sa word? Sige, go. Ayun, ako salamat, Bangtan Army. Nan- <laughs> Inno- invention. Ayun. Invention is the wealth of the world. Ayan. Number four. Number four na to, no? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Si Twice na si Paul and Stevie. The second company of Sir Jude. New second company. Number one, itong mapikot. Ano yung second company ni Sir Jude? Ayun, the second company of Sir Jude. <laughs> Binanggit niya nung ito bago siya ano eh. Late lang yung mga ano. Late lang, Joel, sa Maniego. Late yung internet mo. Mabagal. <laughs> second company, Ronel. Second company. The second company. Yung pangalawa niya kumpanya. Yun yung mapi ko yung number one eh. Tapos may second company niya sinabi niya. Ah, ilang words pa to? Wait ah. Uh, one, two, three. Four words. Jesus Christ daw sabi niya ano. Jesus Christ is the ano is the CEO is the president of the company, and it's registered in the ano ah in, hotel ano, Mapicon Hotel do ma. Hotel. Nako mo kama hirapan sila. Ah. May kinalaman to sa isang yung product. Yung isang yung product kasama sa pangalan ng company na yon. Yen ba yung ano yung charcoal na ano? Sige, Something. Sige lang. <laughs> <laughs> Parang minarinig ako ganyan. Pero I am not sure. Four words yung company ha. Four words. Ayun. Four words. Baka nililigaw four ko words. kayo. Ha? Four <laughs> words po. Four words yung company. Four Di kinalama words. doon sa kanyang product. Kung layo na sinabi kong charcoal. Four words. <laughs> four words. Baka malay mo kasama yan sa word. <laughs> Mapicon green sabi niya. So, si four words po. Four words. Green technology ba yan? <laughs> yeah. Something. Sa mga ano sa mga fans dito ni Sir June, 
uh, don't forget to watch us every Saturday, 9 p.m. And you have a chance to win on our, ano, on our like, Grand LS. Malapit ka na. Malapit ka na, Ronel. Sige pa. Go pa. Green charcoal activated carbon. Malapit na dyan. Dalawa lang dyan sa words na yan ang kasama. <laughs> malapit na. Malapit na. The second Ay, company Sir Ronel. Of, malapit na. Four words. Pangalan ng company to, ha? Pa- company ni Sir Ito, Ayun, si ayan, tama si Joel Mapicon Green Charcoal Philippines Ayan, oh, so wakas Joel. Sa Congratulations to Joel oh, Baka naman ang menti. yung mo pa kitay <laughs> Oo, Siya ang menti ni, ano, ni Sir um, Jude Ayan, for the last word Ito yung last Joel, word Baka naman, donate na yan <laughs> The number of branches of Mapicon. Yeah. Menti siya ni no, ma'am. Ni Sir Jude Katan. Ah, menti. Mentor niya. Oh, mentor niya si Sir Jude. Mentor niya si Sir. The number of branches of... Oh, ayan, mabagal ang internet mo. Buti nanalo ka pa rin. <laughs> Pabilisan dito. No, the number of branches. Sige pa, go. Ang dami. Nag-search ako ng branches to Mapicon. Ang dami. Ayan, may tumama na. Ayan, natandaan ni Rune. Si Ronel. Congrats, Sir Ronel. Congrats, Sir Ronel. Ayan. Siya na una, tama. Ano? Oo, siya na una. Oo, ma. Ayun. Siya ang pinakauna. So, yan. So, we're done with our Pinoy Henio. Sayang din natin napakanta si Sir Jude. Adam nyo na. Siyempre, mahirap magpuyat po kapag... Uh, sa amin, sir, na yay! May panalo. <laughs> Kahit sa pano. Natumbak, natumbok. Ete, natumpak. Natumpak, natumbok. Mm-hmm. Natumbok. Okay. Ayun, natumbok. Tapos may ano pa yan, sir, na last. Oh, may mga savings na kayo. <laughs> Sana all. <laughs> Sana all, yeah. Okay, so sa mga viewers po natin, don't forget, panuorin kami every Saturday, 9 p.m. Ayun. So, Ah, uh, bago tayo maghiwahiwalay. Um, ano 'yun? Ella. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, like after so, watching. Yeah, like and subscribe Dr. Realiza and Ella Wan. Ayun, yeah. type na sila ng Sir coffee. Joel, sir sila, man, type yeah. coffee, type coffee, type coffee. Oh, type shout coffee. out sa mga coffee so, kasi habang, oh, habang nag-aano, nagko-coffee sila. <laughs> So, mag-aan muna kami ni Ella. Mag-kiki-take away. Kumiki-take away kayo, type nyo rin na. Kiki-take away, Ella. Ah, uh, teka ha. Tignan ko yung notes ko. <laughs> so, may ganun galing nga kasi ako sa biyay. Actually, para... ako may notes din ako eh. <laughs> ah, yung hiring uh, nila. Hiring. Nurse to, di ba? Tama ba? Yung hiring po nila ma may course po ba yun? Basta four years course po. Four years course. Hindi ko matandaan course. yung qualification. Any course, di ba? Any course. <laughs> Any Basta course yun? Ay, ganun. <laughs> Kailangan single 18, talaga. 18,000 ang ano, ang 18,000 ang starting salary. So, lagay natin yung Mapicon. Ito po, pina-flash po natin sa screen. Yung pong Mapicon address and yung pong Mapicon telephone number. So, mag-apply na po tayo. Akita ko si Sir kung paano siya makitungo sa kanyang mga empleyado. Talagang Maganda since si Jesus man. Christ ang kanyang CEO. So, mapap- mm-hmm. talagang sigurado ka na yung atmosphere doon ay ibang-iba. Doon kasi kami nag-meeting sa Talaga office nila ba? yung mga inventors group. At syempre, Ella, di ba mag-member ka na na inventors group? Talaga ma. <laughs> so, next time. Yeah. Doon kami palagi. member mo ba? Kung nahihiya na ako mag-member. <laughs> member ka na, syempre. Okay. <laughs> Ayan. So, uh, ano ba yung sabihin ko? Take away pala. Ayan. Actually, isa sa mga take away ko kay sir is yung um uh, yung yung may sinabi siya na ano eh yung hindi ko mabigkas yung sinabi niya pero ito sinabi niya oh isa sa mga tanong ko no na sekreto niya sa tagumpay is yung prayers talaga prayers no so pray to god kung meron kang dream kung ano man yan at uh, patronize also local products yun yung sinasabi niya nung habang uh, kausap namin siya so the same ano din uh, feeling na syempre we ha- uh, we have a lot of inventors here in the Philippines so tama po yung sinabi ni sir no kailangan i-patronize natin yung mga yung mga gawa po ng mga na-invento ng mga Pinoy talaga 
So, yun lang po, Ma'am Ria. Back to you. <laughs> Napakahambol ni Sir, no? Grabe. Grabe nga. Ayaw niya tinatawag siya ng idol, lowdy. Ayaw, ayaw niya yun. Ayaw. 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 Ayan. Sabi gano ni Pollens, God is in his center of his success. True. Actually, Correct. sinabi niya eh, pray to God and everything will happen Ooh. one after the other. Parang nagdasa lang Yon. talaga siya and everything happens. Sabi yes, ni Joel, biglaan ko lang po nadaanan sa newsfeed ang live niyo at nakita ko sir kata ng guest niyo kaya napasubscribe na po ako at napanood ng live. Oh, very wow. good. Joel. Ay, huwag mo nakalimutan mo. Join the gang every Saturday para ano. <laughs> Thank we you, are, uh, We are featuring um, different inventors and different um, innovators and people who have very good life, life story. Ayan. Gcash mo daw, Sir Joel. Pakipay ko daw. All right. So, ang take away ko, oo. Um, ma- about those, gusto ko consumenters sa mga inventors kasi gusto ko marami mag-member na inventors group. Lahat po na gusto mag-member na inventors group, kontakin nyo lang po ako para maging member po kayo. Hindi naman kailangan may invention. Oh, si Maria pala ang kontakin eh. Kasi part ng inventors ay mga researchers, innovators, ah, okay. scientists, educators are also part, no? So, doon ako sa sendo sa key takeaway ko about invention. Sabi niya, um, if you want to be known, be an inventor. Ayan. So, parang ano, do, parang ganun talaga kasi kapag mayroon ka invention, na associate ka palagi sa personality mo. So, siya, kapag sinabi pest control, na who's the biggest and the largest company in pest control? No other than Mapicon. Who's Mapicon? No other than uh, inventor June Katan. And, at ang isa pa sa sinabi niya, Inventions knows no gender. So, kay babae ka, kay lalaki ka, ano man, walang kinalaman. Basta sa invention, pantay-pantay tayo lahat. Yeah. Of course, bakit po siya nag invent Ito yung mahalaga sa sinabi niya. We have to buy Filipino products, Filipino made, and we need the invention so that we will become self-reliant and we'll no need to do export. Diba? Ang ganda. Sana yeah, kung lahat maganda, tayo ay may mga invention, di ba? Go na tayo dyan. Kahit na hindi 47 inventions. <laughs> Kahit isa lang po, pwede na ba? Hindi 47. Grabe, ang daming invention. <laughs> Grabe. Siguro, ang bag natutulog si Sir, invention na iniisip. Lagi po kami may Bible verse para mag-start na work. That was so nice. Oo, Joel. E, siyempre, Joel, kasi siyempre ang CEO niya si Jesus Christ, di ba? As registered in sex. Ayan, sabi ni, sabi ni Paulus, naalala ko yung honor din po, ma'am, sa may Bulacan, pro God din po siya, di ko, siya maalala yung guest nyo nun, manufacturer siya, niya, manufacturer niya sa Bulacan. Ah, naging guest natin, Paulus, Bulacan, ah, uh, Bulacan. Baka hindi, hindi, Bulacan ba yun or Laguna si ma'am Aleli pa sa kola, hindi ba siya? May naging guest, so tayo taga Bulacan na pro uh, God siya. Uh, Bulacan ba siya? Dami kasi nating guest na manufacturer eh, di ba? So, hindi ko na maalala to sino to. Describe mo nga ano itsura niya. <laughs> maalala ko. Ang alam ko isang taga-Bulacan is yung gumagawa ng cosmetics. Uh, si ano, si 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 uh, no, no Lee. Okay, yan. Parang, ma- ah, yeah! Lalaki siya, yes. Oo, pro God siya, yes. Si Bill Wright. Oo. Si Bill Wright, si uh, founder, yon. Ano din yon Inventor din yon ng iba't ibang mga pandike. Tama, oo, tama. Siya din nasa entro yung buhay niya kay God. Yan ang mga naka-inspire, no? Ilagay lang pala natin si God sa center, then everything will happen one after the other. Grabe ang saya. Alright, so with that, oo, salamat. Salamat sa lahat ng mga nag-watch. Salamat sa Team Helpful sa ating mga regular viewers. Salamat. Kita-kita ulit tayo next week. So, yung mga coffee nyo, taken care na yan ni, ni, sa mga nag-type ng coffee, bahala na si Ella once yan. Type coffee, yung mga hindi pa nakaka-type. And hope to see you again same time, 9pm, same day, Saturday next week. Thank you, At Ella. At magdala kayo ng friends para yeah, dumami tayo. Tama yeah. Na. Thank you din, Ma'am Ria. Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you po and God bless po. God bless. God bless to all of you. Bless. Bless all of you. Goodbye everyone. See you again next week. Bye-bye. Thank Love you then, all. Thank you din, Army, and to all of you, Ma'am Ria, Uh-oh. Sir Ronel, Sir Joel.